My name is Wale Hash. I'm a journalist. I've been working as a journalist in Finland for a Finnish public broadcast company for almost 25 years. Last 10 years, I was also working for a Finnish foundation media development in Vikas. I am Sala Nazarenko, a journalist and media scholar from Finland and also Rotary Peace Fellow from Tulalongkorn in 2019. I'm also a board member of the Finnish Foundation for Media and Development, Vikes, that has been working in the Horn of Africa in Somalia for a long time, for over a decade now. So far in 10 years, we have been training over 1,500 journalists in all over the country in Somalia. First, we started by developing public service broadcasting in Somalia, and then we quickly moved into ideas of peace building and dialogue in the society, because it's clear that it's really hard to build sustainable institutions unless there's peace. A place like Africa in Somalia that has a civil war for almost 34 years, these builders and these activists is the most important people. What we realize in Somalia is that we are looking for grassroots level peace building. Another important part of the work has been uh, peace journalism. Using the principle of positive peace, following the ideas of Johan Galtung, we train journalists, organize TV debates, events and other things that give local journalists tools for better reporting the conflict situations. You need to involve women, you need to involve young people, you need to involve marginalized people and have public debate where you bring all the TV channels and social media influencers into it. This means addressing the root causes of conflict, giving voices to all sides and looking at the possibilities of solutions for conflicts instead of just reporting who did what to whom. In Somalia we also started a forgiveness campaign. It's a school campaign. We have peace ambassadors at the schools where the young people learn how to have a conflict resolution at their schools and then we give them media platforms. It's a social media campaign where people told their stories of forgiveness and this means inter-clan dialogue and many other things. And there's already a National Forgiveness Day in Somalia that we have initiated. Once a year we have Forgiveness Day. We put people together in public places and ask forgiveness or forgive this person or that person. And on that day we will show in all media platforms. And it was very successful. In Somalia, the first time when we organized almost 50,000 people come out in that day. And literally last year we started cooperation with uh, Kenyans. We have two Rotary clubs in Kenya and also a group of peace activators in interested in our work. And we have built a much larger conflict resolution project in Kenya. So Mr. Wally is talking about peace building, such an important thing and one of the seven areas of focus for Rotary. So what we will do is forgiveness campaign. Another aspect is peace journalism. And peace journalism means that you train journalists to cover the story of peace building and counter perceptions in the society. To hear people's voice that usually we don't hear. But also water security and economic development. And in this work we of course cooperate with tribal leaders and local citizens. Their expertise, their involvement is crucial in this work. Peace building without involving professional media outlets is very, very difficult to succeed because there is a lot of disinformation, misinformation, hate speech also involved. At the moment, the global grant proposal we have in our hands is overall $685,000, but we plan to split it into several parts. For instance, the peace journalism part is fifty to 70000 US dollars. We really hope to get started at the end of this year and if we succeed in Kenya why not in Uganda, why not in Ethiopia. We hope to be able to move forward with this because this brings the ideas of peace journalism and positive peace very concretely into the lives of the citizens in Kenya.